Hi guys, hope you are doing good. Now, in this video, I am going to explain loop or iterative statements. Second type of decision making statements. Loop or iterative statements. Sir, in basic concepts, while discussing basic concepts, we did not use any decision making statements or loop statements because normally if you don't you don't want to write any condition specific uh, programs then we don't use decision making statements or control statements or control structures okay but in some cases if i have to write any condition if condition is true something has to be done condition is for something how to be done then we have to use decision making control statements so in which scenario that means in which cases we have to use loop or iterative statements first of all the definition of loop is repetition of repetition of statements until condition is satisfied until condition is satisfied repetition of statements until the condition is satisfied means we have to do some task repeatedly normally most of the students will get doubt. Sir, in which cases we have to use these loop statements? First of all, which keywords are used to work with loop statements? Among 32 keywords, we are having while, we are having do, we are having for. This while, do and for are used to work with loop statements. Okay? Actually, the definition of loop is repetition of work until the condition is satisfied. Repetition of our statements, repetition of work until the condition is satisfied. Uh, normally, these loop statements are used to write these type of programs. I have to print a series of values from 1 to 50, 1 to 20, 20 to 1. These type of programs, if you have to write any type of programs on this series of values, we have to use these loop statements. Okay? I will explain the example. Please wait. First, what is the example of loop statement while? Okay? When you are going to work with while, when you are going to work with any concept, we have to follow some syntax. What is syntax? Rule. Rule means when you are going to work with while this is the syntax of while while of condition set of statements here these statements will be executed repeatedly until condition is satisfied repetition of work until the condition is satisfied is called loop now listen i have to write this program to print 1 to 50 values using while <clears throat> My aim is I have to print 1 to 50 values using while. First of all, when you are going to write this type of programs, what is the first value I have to print? 1. What is the last value I have to print? 50. Okay. Before going to values, what type of values I have to print here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like this up to 50. All these values are what values? Integer values. To print integer values, take one variable, int variable. You can take int i or you can take int x or you can take int k, anything. But I am taking int i. After because the series of values I have to print is integer values. Hence, I am taking integer variable. First one. Second step what is the first value in the series? The first value in the series is 1. Assign 1 to i. 
This is called initialization. Okay? When you are going to... Okay, again I am still... Please concentrate. The given series is 1 to 50. The first step I have to identify is... What is the series of values we have to print? Integer series. Take one integer variable. It may be int i or int j, int k or int x. Assign. What is the first value in the series? 1. Assign 1 to i. To assign 1 to i, already explained. What is the assignment? What is the operator used to assign values? Singly equal to. Int i equal to 1 means I am using a variable i. What is the value of i? 1 is stored under the name i. Initialization over. Next. What is the next I have to see? What is the last value in the series? 50. Now write like this. While i less than or equal to up to what is the last value I have to print? 50. Okay. Sir, I don't want to use 50. Less than or equal to. I want to use less than 50 means. Because we have to print 50 also. If you write i less than 50. 50 will not be printed. In that case you have to write 51. i less than 51. Okay. Because we have to print 50 also. Up to 50 I have to print. Okay. Otherwise you can use i less than or equal to 50. See i value 1. 1 less than 50 condition. True. True means come to while block. Print f. We have to print value. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why I use what type value? Integer value. To print integer value, use percentile d. Comma. Where is the value? Under the name i. See, i value 1. 1 less than 50 condition true. Print f percentile d i. 1 printed. See, after printing 1, I have to print what? 2. Next, I have to print out 3. Next, we have to print out 4. Next, to 5, 6, 7. Value increasing or decreasing? Increasing. So, I have to increase value. I equal to I plus 1. While discussing operators, I explained. Instead of I equal to I plus 1, we can write I plus plus also. I can write plus plus I also. I plus C equal to 1 also. Okay, if you want to write i equal to i plus 1, you can write it. In shortcut, we can write i plus plus also. Both are same. Simple. Sir, why are you writing i plus plus? The meaning of i plus plus is i equal to i plus 1. Because after printing 1, I have to print out 2. After printing 2, I have to print out 3. After 3, I have to print out 4. After 4, I have to print out 5. Next Values are in increasing order. So I am increasing the value. Close. See, I will ex explain. Please listen. I equal to 1. 1 less than 50 condition true. Print f 1 printed. I plus plus. What is the meaning of I plus plus? Sir? I equal to I plus 1. Substitute value. 1 plus 1. 2. Now I value become 2. What close? Why close? Why is our statement? Loop. What is meant by loop? Repetition of work until the condition is satisfied. Go here. 2 less than 50 condition true. Print F. 2 printed. Next, I equal to I plus 1. Substitute here. I value 2 plus 1. 3. Now I value become 3. 3 less than 50. True. Print F. 3 printed. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now finally, I value 50. 50 less than 50 condition true. 50 also printed. I plus plus I equal to I plus 1. 50 plus 1. 51. Now I value 51. While close. 51 less than 50 condition false. Come out. See in this type of programs, we have to execute the set of statements repeatedly. In this cases, we have to use all these loop statements. We, we have to use while, do while and for all the purpose only. Sir, we are having while. Why we have to use do while? Or we are having while and do while. Why we have to use for? Okay? See, when you are going to work with while, what is the first way I have to print? One. Okay? This is called initialization. This is called initialization. 
up to what value I have to print to? Condition. This is called condition. The series of values increasing or decreasing? Increasing increment. Some cases I have to write decrement. The base I have to decrease the value. In that case, I have to write decrement. When you are going to use while statement, initialization, condition, increment or decrement, three are in three different places. Normally, the human tendency is forgetting things. If we forget anything, we will get unexpected results. We will get unexpected results. That's why they have introduced first statement. If you are going to use first statement, initialization, condition, increment, decrement, all are there in single line. I will explain you clearly while discussing first statement. But for better understanding, sir, already we are having why. Then why we have to use for means? This is the reason. The next example, already printed 1 to 50. Now I have to print values from 20 to 1 using why. 20 to 1 using why. Again, same. What is the series of values I have to print to? 20 to 1. In the series of values 20 to 1, what type of values I am having? Integer values. So take one variable, integer variable, int i equal to. What is the first value in the series? 20, right? 20. Next, now we have to write condition. To write condition, we have to use y. Uh, i don't write less than greater than or equal to 1 because 20 is greater than 1. Okay i greater than equal to 1. Sir, I don't want to use equal to, then use i greater than 0. Otherwise, 1 will not be printed. Because I have to print 1 also. Then I have to write, if you don't want to use greater than equal to, you have to write i greater than 0. Because 1 is greater than 0, printed. Sir, I will write the greater than equal to means, please write it. i greater than equal to 1. i equal 20. 20 greater than equal to 1. Condition, true. True means, print f. Uh, we have to print what value? I value. I value type value. Percentile D, comma, I value printed. See, the variable I have taken is I. What is the value of I? 20. Check the condition. 20 greater than or equal to 1. True. 20 greater than this I. 20 greater than or equal to 1. Condition true. Print of 20 printed. After printing 20, I have to print what? 19. Next to 18. Next to 17. Value is increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. So we have to write i equal to i minus 1. Instead of writing i equal to i minus 1, we can write what? i minus minus also. i minus minus. See, i value 20. I am, I am explaining intuition. i value 20. 20 greater than 1 condition true. How it will be executed? Okay. See, I am explaining execution of y statement. Please look here. i equal 20. 20 greater than 1 condition true. 20 printed. Next, i minus minus. What is the meaning of i minus minus? i equal to i minus 1. 20 minus 1. 19. Now, i will become 19. Again, what close? Why close? Why is our statement? Loop. What is the loop? Repetition of work. Go and check here. 19 greater than 1 condition true. Print of 19 printed. I minus minus 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I value become 0. 0 greater than or equal to 1 condition false come out. If statement will execute, block of statement only once. The same way, else block statements also will be executed only once. The same way, normally we are writing C program, the statements between main block, main function will be also executed only once. But the statements placed in while, do while and for will be executed repeatedly. Hence, these are referred as loop statements. In coming video, I will explain do while and for. Okay, 